Hey, Turfang. No, I use... I'm introducing a thing that's better than NFTs. And I'm calling it... I'm going to type this in chat. I'm calling it Pissed Cart. Pissed Cart is a new sort of um, digital analog blend of um, investment. And this is basically... This is basically a piece of... Um, it's a very precise molecular structure, basically. And these are actually made from trees, so you are destroying the environment a little bit. You've got a little bit of that classic still going on. Um, barricade floor one. Is this tree links the four months? Unfortunately, you don't get to take a body slam there. <laughs> Would be nice, right? Would be nice. Good. Our uh, classic mall bank pickup here in Act 1. Dylan thinks the 14 months. You made a pissed card command. Do you get a pissed card for it? No. No, I'm sorry. All right, let's go for it. Shrug it off. Sure, I probably don't die. Yeah, I can actually play barricade sometimes now. You bought a chemical X from the shop and never found Warland. I'm very sorry to hear that. That's unfair. I love how you can interpret what George is thinking through his curse of manipulation. When I watch a Gadmator chess videos and he says, can you find the move? Like, I swear 90% of the time he hovers toward what the move is before or as he asks that. And you can just look at where his cursor is going and then, like, fairly easily guess from there. I swear to you that this is true. <laughs> Man, if you don't take this fight, you have to take a Parasite. Alright. We have an offering and a couple of potions. Our deck's not very good yet, so... <sighs> Bust... I think... Make some blood for blood, cost two. God damn, he's good. Should have looked at what my last cards were, maybe. There you go. That was a pretty good floor. Good power potion. The burning gepacked. Probably not a bad idea. I think rest once, upgrade once. 
Probably need a blood for blood upgrade. Issue bug. Uh, Mercury Hourglass is like having combust in every fight. Except it doesn't do quite as much damage. But also it doesn't do quite as much damage to you. So, who's the real winner here? Forty-three to forty. This splits at thirty-nine. Sounds good to me. A relic with the downside that you cannot look at your draw pile. So you could work out what it was anyway. Is the thing. If you can't look at your draw pile, all your draw pile is is your hand discard pile and exhaust pile. It's your deck minus your hand draw pile, discard pile and exhaust pile plus anything that was added to your draw pile. Like statuses by enemies and stuff like that. So that relic would be fucking awful. That would be like the worst imaginable gameplay experience. The amount of a bad idea that that is is hard <laughs> it's hard <laughs> god no <laughs> no don't do that Just no. Wow. Feels like Flex Pot would have been really good that turn. And yet, I would have just wasted it, apparently. Way to go, me. Seeing red? Seeing g, g red. I think that's pretty good. as I carry over one point of block to next turn. <gasps> oh, that's so brave. Is Blood for Blood usually good in Act 1? Blood for Blood's like bludgeon with upside. But you don't get as much damage out of it because of that. But, well, also it's an uncommon instead of a rare. But yeah, it's like bludgeon if bludgeon could sometimes cost zero. Is pretty good. The mummified hand. Exim is already good, I believe.
See, I can get Seeing Red with it and generate a net zero energy, which is, I mean, if that's not what you're trying to do while playing as like the Spire, what are you even doing with your life? Seems like the obvious thing to do. Sundial double burning pack is sort of interesting. Unfortunate that I cannot turn energy into damage, but I guess I have a blood for blood, so I don't really need to. <laughs> we gain damage at all other than blood for blood and upgraded twin strike. Why would we need to? He says as Guardian prepares to attack him for more than double his current health. Ha! Should play barricade first, huh? Goonster, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Ogbomo show to you too. Returned with a new job. Nice. Congratulations. Now we'll pa play Bash Blood for Blood repeatedly until you are done. Oh, maybe I should play shrugging off this turn that's even better and next turn I can play bash no Yeah, it turns out that Burning Pact is um, a somewhat strong card. So is Offering Plus, and Sundial can be a strong relic. These are all things that we have discovered today. I don't know which of Fiend Fire and Offering to take. They're both pretty good. I guess based on how 
that last fight went and the fact that we have a blood for blood, we're probably just meant to take offering. How does this deck do against elites? Not great. Does it need upgrades? Not really. A little bit. That's a mummified hand. Let's try the Black Star. Mere no snarls. No way to get more than two elites. So, I win the fight, but take 18. <laughs> Is this good? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, nobody knows. Staying hydrated. Yesterday I drank four liters of water. Would you like to know other things about my bodily functions, or is that the only one you care about? have one way to apply vulnerable, but god this dropkick seems like it would be strong. Right? Doesn't it seem like it would be strong? Maybe I just take pommel strike. Maybe I don't even need it to refund the energy. I just need it to easily draw a card. blood tests. They were right. This is interesting. This could actually be remove a card. It's a little insane, but it's like actually possible for that to be remove a card. I'm not going to, but it's possible. <laughs> Let's look for any power, basically. In the flame. No thanks. Any power except that one. This is actually shit. 
What a terrible library. like a feel no pain but I would have accepted a lot of other things like combust metallicize I don't need that much <laughs> maybe a body slam maybe a body slam is all right I feel like I'm going to hate that that card is in my deck pretty soon. I can buy Whirlwind Chemex. Graph seems really good. Liquid memory seems really good for blood for blood for elite fights. slam again. As you can see from the first turn of the body slam being in the deck, it is pretty good here. Please return my money. 40 gold. Is 6 health worth 40 gold? You can have it. You can keep it. Enjoy. I just got here. Tell me everything I missed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> You know, sometimes, maybe. That is not a good turn one. I can use both potions to kill this with blood for blood. Or I can burning pact and things get scary. <laughs> Thanks for two months. I'll put more show to you as well. Maybe a bottled offering plus would help this deck. There's a controversial statement. What? A bottled offering plus? Would make the deck stronger? 
That's so brave. would prefer not to die. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like we could have drawn better in that fight, not gonna lie. The boot and whetstone. Not what I was thinking of. At least I got a smoke bomb. <laughs> Star has not panned out. Oh my god, it happened again. <laughs> At least in this fight, we just win next turn. Assuming that we don't die. In fact, in this fight, I can just Burning Pact, I think, right now. lower my health enough, I can eventually actually die to Gremlin Leader's 18 here. Just a matter of patience, mostly. slamming intensifies. Okay, that one went a bit better. Unceasing top. That does not work at all. Be flower. I guess I got one sort of relic out of all of that. Decide. I'm not fighting any more Act 2 elites, so this preserved insect is useful against Reptomancer daggers. Giant head's obviously free. Nemesis is sometimes bad if I get 10 burns early, but mostly free. Act 4 elites are. I don't know. I'd rather have a bag of prop by miles, right? Or like a bottled lightning, or... I don't know. There are other things that are a lot better than this, is what I'm trying to communicate. Six and thanks for the 17 months. I'm gonna show to you two.
We'll see. Maybe I'll regret that. Romeo, my friend. Even have Sundial on two this time, it's good. Red Mask is nice. Red Mask is a nice pickup, actually. Actually, for realsies. going to be an angry gremlin, though. Should we let the vagaries of chance decide which other card we play? Feels like they win next turn. Maybe I should just defend. fight. You know, I don't think I've ever tried to smoke bomb this fight before. Good to leave Sundial on two for this deck. It's sort of a big deal. I check if Smoke Bomb is available. Well, it says I can throw it. So I have Happy Flower on two, which is maybe good. I don't know. I don't know what number Happy Flower is meant to be on. Probably two. Hey, we got a turn one offering plus. It's actually correct to kill Taskmaster first because I don't want three wounds in my next draw pile. The Gremlin Norb is just fine here, the big sweetie. Or is he? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Wait a second, am I dead? <laughs> oh, damn. I 
just go bash body slam blood for blood and it's over. Okay, ice cream, eternal feather. Just skip these, we don't need them. Feels like Blessing of the Forger doesn't do much here. And, um... Smoke Bomb could actually be a pretty big deal for one of these two Holy fights. is a great example of how misleading it can be to try to minimize how much health you lose per fight because this deck is going to lose like 12 or 18 health in every fight including the easiest of hallway fights which is like awkward or whatever sure but it doesn't mean that the deck has a low chance of winning the run or that we're doing something wrong it just means we rest at campfires and continue to win everything pretty easily the dark vambrace Holy fights aren't detrimental either, like, it is fine that we lose health on them, we still need card rewards and stuff. smoke bomb unfortunately <sighs> oh god I could send you pictures of cards with my name signed on them as well probably illegal are the four mods I am playing with. Okay. 
It appears that Dark Embrace has successfully gotten me another card reward, so it has paid for itself or something, maybe, I don't know. Juggernaut? Juggernaut? Grit becomes a bit better with Dark Embrace. Sundial didn't get to two, but Happy Flower did. Is it copyright infringement if you get a YouTube Jorbs thumbnail tattooed on your butt? I will not prosecute. If you smoke them out of the first fight, you still get to fight Slaver and Knob. Wow. That is not how I thought it would work. Actually, think about taking and upgrading True Grit now that I have Dark Embrace. I also have Unceasing Top. It does feel like a fairly important upgrade. Maybe it's not even an important upgrade. Maybe I can just play it and hit random things. Just as long as it's the last important card that I play every turn. And see how it goes. These are our upgrades. Yeah. I think I'm drawing cards off it too, so I want to be able to play it first. That's the thing. This is the thing I'm using. Stealing to the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. We are pretty close to killing Collector Turn 1 here. Okay, how does this infinite work? I can go... Shrug Burning Pact is always going. Can I go Body Slam? And then this? How many shuffles is that? That looked like it was two shuffles. That actually made me energy. Okay. Actually, that's three shuffles because <laughs> of Dark Embrace. Pretty hot. Alright, cool. Collector is done. Let's fall a couple of times. Oh, should I pass turn twice? I guess I should. I'm not going to. Huh. 
Well, demon form doesn't seem good if we kill on turn one. Stone or Sozio. Just trying to think when things would matter. The potions are not incredible. Time meter can be tricky. Enemies which give us statuses are still tricky sometimes. Act for elite fight might be tricky, depending on our first eight cards. In all these situations, I have Pantograph. So, Pantograph and Eternal Feather, so it's sort of okay to take damage. Regret upgrade made that easier? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna go for a Philo. I think we could have significantly better potions than the one that we have. Beach Dwell, thanks for the three bits. Go here. There are no campfires this act. Ceasing top into offering? The center's man's good too. And then offering. I'll take it. shuffles here or something because my relics are on very bad numbers. with Don in a while. This is why I think it might be important to be able to have a Gambler's Brew. Fortunately, the Darklings also rolled a terrible turn one. Colorless card that gave health equal to energy. Eh. Um, not a very good turn two. Maybe some card removes?
potion felt very worth. Wait a couple of turns. God, I slept so badly last night. It was like the worst I've slept in months, probably. My brain just wouldn't shut down and go to sleep despite it being time for sleeping. I was like, brain, come on. And my brain was like, no. I continued to think. Fucking brain. Trench is cute. Is it needed? I could imagine it being useful against Time Eater. If I don't get a field of pain, maybe I actually do need it against Time Eater. Doesn't feel like I need it anywhere else. Could be actively bad in a lot of places. I think we're good against Time Eater. I'm pretty sure that six Shrug it off, six Pommel Strike plus is good enough in that fight. Wait, is it though? Maybe it's not. Man, <laughs> we actually need it against Time Eater. <laughs> I have no dexterity or strength. It's a powerful card. The store was not very useful. Could change my potions, but like, eh. I'm sort of expensive. Blood's time of service has passed.
intentionally take the unupgraded offering to make it feel better. Wait, maybe I don't even have to play it. Just noticed I have Sundial. Have we reached future Jorb status yet? Getting there. Definitely getting there. Oh, I should have played Body Slam first. Eh, maybe. springs equally. I'm sure you do. I'm sure that's what you tell them. Sundial on the right number, and we're done. Umamori Dreamcatcher. Not really it. So Master of Strategy is really good. Ness is fine. Apotheosis. The card is like maybe barely passable. Would be maybe like three or four upgrades that I care about. Not really. Not really. Dark Shackles is fun. Finesse is okay. better than okay. I think Finesse might be just barely pickable. Bad against Time Eater, bad against the Heart, fine everywhere else. It's not really bad against the Heart. It's so-so against the Heart and bad against Time Eater. Worrying about Dark Shackles. Deals 40 damage to all enemies in the camps. In the camps? Well, when you put it that way. Imagine just not drawing Barricade or Dark Embrace turn one off of that turn one. <laughs> This is why Entrance is a shit card in this deck. I'm glad that we've had this conversation. <laughs> Alright, next time we get to work with five burns as we're trying to get through our deck, that'll be fun.
Oh, it's all of the burns already. Cool. The game is trying to kill me. And Entrench and Body Slam, the other two curses in my deck. has dealt 18 damage to us so far in this fight. I like that you leave open the possibility that it will deal more still. Is Nemesis actually just alternating between large attack and burns every turn for the entire fight? Because <laughs> that's what it seems like you're doing here, Nemesis. Okay, we got the multi-attack, for which you will note I have Phylostone to make sure it's as bad as possible. incoming. Alright, Hourglass has won us the fight. Hey, those are good rewards. Worth it. Worth the struggle. Bottle and attack. That's not the one I want to bottle. What if bottling Body Slam is secretly good so that you can play it to get it out of your hand before you offering? <sighs> Could imagine that being the case. I also have Ink Bottle. I think I'm actually going to bottle Body Slam here. And then later I can regret that decision. upside, which is that if I have Offering Plus in my hand, I have a way to draw an extra card, sort of. You can have Offering Plus, I should probably upgrade my other Offering now. Probably do that a long time ago. kill this turn, but we want to shuffle twice before we do. Oh. 
Oh? Dueled on... There's no relevant target. Like, I could dual wield Body Slam, but it doesn't matter. I can just draw the one I have again. Have every relic on the right number, even Omomori. Play another offering? Probably. seen a deck want feel no pain more. This deck doesn't want to feel no pain very much. Gripnets thinks the five months. I'll, I'll show to you too. Something generating a lot of output is not the same as it turning a loss into a win. Things are good when they turn a loss into a win. That is the thing that you were trying to do with the stuff in your deck in this game. as many hearts as possible in a month. Toxic Egg Lizard Tail. Cool. Lizard Tail is nice. Is the greater Seattle area expensive to live? Live. It depends. Are you okay with sleeping in the closet of a room that you are... I feel like this body slam here is good this time. <laughs> that you are renting out with one other person. If you're fine with that, it's very affordable. The downside is, is mitigated bullshit is what happens with taxes in this country, in the US. It's a US specific thing. Anytime that you pass a tax on something, like in order to make the highways better, you have to tax cars or something. You can't just be like, it would clearly be good for society for the highways to be better, it is a priority, so we're going to use some of the tax dollars that we get to make the highways better. And you can't be like, 
clearly the most sensible way to tax the population would be this structure, so that's how we're going to tax the population to get the money. It has to be like, well, in order to, uh, in order to build a recycling plant for plastic, we're going to tax plastic bag use in grocery stores. Like, what the? Why? Why the fuck would? <laughs> it's very, it's very similar to this thing where like. No, there are like mostly isn't a relationship between things and mitigating their downside. There are just good things and bad things, and you want to do the good things as well as possible and not do the bad things as well as possible. I've been low key tilted on that since like I was 12 or something. So sorry, it just came out right now for some reason. The number of people in the U.S. who think that their peers who have been elected to government by their peers to serve them are trying to kill them and exploit them is fucking insane. Also, though, like somehow a lot of them are right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> All right, so... Moving forward. <laughs> Thanks for the five dollar donation, Caramel Queen. Thanks for the three dollar donation, I am Jeeps. I think I run into problems with not being able to draw five cards off offerings, so I should just upgrade Burning Pact. For the three dollar donation, I'm chips. Oh, I see. There's a bidding war. I'm into this. This was all part of my plan. I'm sure the slimes are actually bad for me. They seem sort of alright. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thanks for the $69 donation, Caramel Queen. Steady on there. That's a lot of money. I need to play four cards. One. And shuffle once. Two. Shuffle only once. Oh, I can't. <sighs> Finesse! Finesse, you've ruined me. Let's do it like this. Wait, I should have just played Shrug to get Ink Ball at 9 now. Ah, whatever. None of this matters. <laughs> Damn it, Ink Bottle. Okay, I full heal at the store next act, so absolutely nothing stopping me from playing an Offering Plus here. An Offering is also fine. is somewhat hot. Not wrong. Bonk. He does punch strong. So, one more shuffle, and a bunch more cards. Probably it's going to be more than one more shuffle. And do like three more shuffles from this. Two, three, boom. Every relic's right. Even Omomori. Thank you, Omomori, for contributing as a mascot to this run. Ichida. channel points because the attention economy fucking sucks. 
When I think of the attention economy, I think, no thank you. Does Orange Pellets do something? Not really. Does Weak Potion do something? Maybe. More than Energy Potion? I don't know. Card Remove does something. We should just Card Remove. like me to stand up and stretch or to tell an interesting story or something else that you could achieve with channel points maybe you will have to make a compelling argument to me as to why I should and if you convince me maybe I will There are no guarantees here at Jorbs TV. The only guarantee is no guarantee. Jorbs wins. Being relatable to your viewers, you make more money. I know, that's what's bad. <laughs> I do not want to make more money by creating false pretenses that I am more relatable to you than I actually am. Or by creating the impression in your brain that by watching my channel and clicking on a box every now and then, you and I will become friends. It is not true. And I am in no way interested in suggesting that it's true. Can you be friends with me? Probably not. Like maybe. Can you be friends with, like... Other entertainers? What do you think your chances are of being friends with, like, I don't know, Natalie Portman? Well, this turn went okay. Feels like the card remove maybe was useful. Mr. Rogers was your friend? Sure, I can be your friend in the way that Mr. Rogers was your friend. The AKA not your friend. <laughs> That's fine, I'm good with that. Letter opener and red skull. How much would Jorbs' friendship cost? Asking the real questions. All right. <laughs> oh.
We are headed to the moon. That trigger is actually so good. Damn, it's good. It's like the best card in my deck right now. It's crazy. His entire business model is the illusion of friendship. No. No. Twitch's business model is that there's a video feed and a chat room, and you can sit in and watch someone. doing this isn't fair. Sometimes life isn't fair. I just realized that on turn two, I'm gonna have five statuses in my deck. Whoops! <laughs> it's fine though, right? Actually fine. Five damage per turn on letter opener. Not bad. Not a bad start. Hmm. Okay, we got out of it somehow. I have won the run. My deck basically did the same thing from the end of Act 1 to the end of Act 4. Pretty cool. Oh, what was my score? I think it was probably really high. Check what my score was. I didn't have like any of the weird bonuses like collector though. It wouldn't have been that high. 3543. Not bad. 